So we've got the tickets index page here, but as we've said before, um, it's currently displaying hard-coded data. Uh, just as a recap, let's go into the view and just have a look. Resources, views, tickets, index. Here's that table and here's the uh, hard-coded data. What we're going to do is uh, retrieve data from our tickets database and populate the table with that data. Laravel's eloquent object model makes getting data from the database very easy. Um, right, first of all we're going to figure out what controller it is that controls this page. Um, and just as a, also a quick reminder, let's start off with the route. So we're hitting the tickets uh, path there. If we go into the routes file, um, web PHP, you, we can see that it's the ticket controller and specifically the index method in that controller that's handling the index page. Let's find the controller. So app HTTP controllers ticket controller and he let's find the index method there it is so we we are returning the view that's what we can see here with the hard coded data but prior to returning that view we need to do something here to retrieve the data from our tickets table and pass that data to the view very easy this bit we start with the model and it's the ticket model Uh, for this, we're going to get the latest tickets first, and the get method actually retrieves them. So, actually, we need a variable at the front, tickets equals, so tickets contains the data, and we need to pass that to the view. Now, there's several ways of doing this, but the way that I find the neatest is using the compact method. So, here we just pass the name of the variable. You know what, just to check that we have actually got the right data here, I'm going to die dump the tickets variable tickets and let's just go back to the page and refresh it. Opening this array up we can see that uh, we do indeed have 200 uh, ticket instances so each record from our database um, has been instantiated as a ticket model. So this is good. Going back to the controller, we can get rid of this die dump command there. Uh, so we're passing the tickets variable to the tickets.index view. So if we go in here, uh, right, let's remind ourselves uh, what columns we're going to be displaying in tickets. Okay, so we've got a... I think we, we will display the index in the left-hand column. We need summary, description and status. So that's four columns in total. I'll leave that one as it is. Uh, summary. Description. And status in the THs for the header, get rid of that one and we'll keep the first row of data just as a, a template and get rid of the rest get down to there and we actually got rid of one of the columns so here we have access to the tickets collection of individual ticket models so I'm going to use an at for each tickets as ticket to get each one, not forgetting to end it at the bottom. And for each of these, we'll echo out the data. So this will be, where's it gone? Where's the dollar, dollar sign? Ticket ID. And we'll do the same for the other columns as well. We've got a summary.
description. And status. This will never work. Let's go to the page and refresh. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay, we did not save the ticket controller, so if we save the changes we made there and then refresh the page again. There we go. So we've got a summary. Um, it's a little larger than we thought it would be, but you, you get the idea. You can see it rendering out the data at least. And these are in fact in descending uh, date and time order because we put this latest in here. So things are looking good. The sequence here does look a, a little odd though, doesn't it? 101, 102, 103. These are increasing. So I'm not sure that these are in descending date and time order. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over to MySQL and just have a look. Um, so if we um, sequence by descending created at order 101, 102, 103 uh, back over here one, oh so it, it is in the right order we've set out to do everything we wanted to in this uh, video uh, while we're here though I think I'll just tidy up the page uh, we don't need two titles here uh, the title is tickets we don't need this section title so I'll just get rid of that goodbye save that refresh the page that's gone so we're done for now uh, but in the next video uh, I think we need some way of getting our own data into the database so we need a way of creating our own new tickets so I think what we'll do is we'll add a button at the top uh, that will say something like add ticket, add new ticket, something like that. So uh, see you in the next video.